the farmer, a silent worker, tilling the fields, coaxing the earth with loving hands to produce food, to support and sustain a population of about 1.17 billion people in India. The humble farmer, the backbone of India. However, he is no longer alone in his struggle, for there is an entity of 50 million farmers that work as hard as he does to strengthen the hands of every farmer in India. This is IFCO. IFCO! The Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative Limited, the largest fertilizer cooperative in the world. A society of the farmers, by the farmers, and for the farmers. A unique enterprise entirely owned by the customers themselves. Over the past four decades, this giant network of nearly 40,000 cooperatives has provided fertilizers and agricultural services to farmers in every part of the country, helping them to increase productivity through the balanced use of energy-efficient fertilizers, ushering in a ray of hope into the homes of millions and transforming every village that it touches. Established in 1967 with a modest capital of merely $12,000 and 57 member societies, IFCO today is a role model for cooperatives with a stupendous turnover of about $3.8 billion. Today, IFCO has five state-of-the-art plants to produce fertilizers, essential to raise agricultural productivity. The first plant to commence commercial production of urea was established in 1975 at Kalol. This was followed in the same year by another plant at Kandla in Gujarat, producing NPK complexes. In 1981 and 1988, IFCO commissioned plants in Pulpur and Anla both in Uttar Pradesh. From 1996 to 1999, the production capacity of these plants was expanded to almost double of IFCO capacity. In September 2005, IFCO acquired a DAP NPK plant at Paradeep in Orissa. This was the first time in Indian history that a cooperative had ever acquired a private sector plant. With the capacity to produce more than 8.6 million metric tons, and gross sales of over 11.8 million metric tons, these modern plants consistently perform at over 100% capacity utilization and have made IFCO the unchallenged leader in fertilizer production. Every fourth bag of fertilizer produced and every third bag of complex fertilizer sold in India belongs to IFCO, an organization for which maintaining the highest standards of quality and productivity is a way of life. IFCO has always adopted the most advanced technologies to improve the environment, energy efficiency, production and product quality. The IFCO plant at Pulpur has now become the first in India to be converted from naphtha to natural gas for environment friendliness, improved energy efficiency and lower production costs. IFCO's Anla and Pulpur units are the first to install a CDR unit with a capacity of 450 tons per day to recover carbon dioxide from flue gases to supplement available carbon dioxide from the process in order to maximize urea production. This reduces the carbon footprint, thereby earning carbon credits for the organization. IFCO Pulpur is also the first plant in India to install energy-efficient plate-type urea prill cooler to improve urea product quality. As an innovative approach to tackle the problem of fly ash generated in coal-fired boilers, IFCO has successfully developed a technology for manufacturing bricks from fly ash. A brick manufacturing plant with a capacity of 2,500 bricks per day is running successfully and the bricks are utilized by IFCO.
In order to meet the ever-growing demand for fertilizers, IFCO has embarked on an ambitious expansion project at Kalol in Gujarat, which will add approximately 1.5 million tons of urea per year. In order to make fertilizers available at the doorstep of every farmer, IFCO has achieved the highest record for transportation and product movement from its five plants and eight ports to more than 1,730 storage locations across the country. Further, IFCO has given an impetus to the economic growth of cooperative societies by encouraging them to become partners in warehousing, rake handling and transportation of fertilizers to different parts of India. More than 600 cooperatives are benefiting as IFCO franchisees. Approximately 160 farmer service centers established by IFCO at nodal locations throughout India act as one-stop shops, providing valuable agricultural inputs and vital technical guidance. IFCO is committed to corporate social responsibility and has worked in over 3,500 villages under its village adoption program. IFCO's Kisan Seva Trust provides relief and rehabilitation to victims of natural calamities, giving critical medical attention to them and looking to the welfare of needy farmers, all aimed at improving their quality of life. IFCO is constantly alive to the challenging needs of farmers living in remote parts of India. Cutting-edge agricultural research and innovative practices have been introduced in farmlands across the country. Be it the hilly areas of Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, the saline soil of the Sundarbans, the alkaline soil of Uttar Pradesh, or the acidic soil of Orissa and Kerala. IFCO has carried the benefits of information technology and space technology to the very doorstep of Indian farmers. Touchscreen monitor-based information kiosks provide farmers with exhaustive information on agriculture, weather patterns and much more. These are already benefiting farmers in more than 200 locations across 17 states in India. IFCO has promoted a multi-state initiative, the Indian Farm Forestry Development Cooperative, with the prime objective of developing wastelands, revitalizing the environment and providing economic succor to village communities who have been left out of the fold of agrarian development. IFCO, through its joint venture, the National Commodities and Derivative Exchange Limited, is helping farmers not only to gain price-related information, but also with price risk hedging. Along with seven other institutions, IFCO has promoted the National Collateral Management Services Limited, a body which is the first of its kind in the agricultural sector in India. IFCO empathizes with and stands by the farmer through all the trials and tribulations that he may face. The IFCO Tokyo General Insurance Company provides farmers with insurance against fire and other natural calamities. In particular, the Sankat Haran Bhima Yojana, Barish Bhima Yojana and the recently launched Janta Bhima Yojana are popular amongst the rural masses. IFCO Kisan Sanchad Limited provides telecommunication services and products to farmers in rural India. Five free voice messages are sent to subscribers on a daily basis with information about agriculture, weather, mandi rates, animal husbandry and other location-specific information. IFCO has embarked on a project to set up India's first ever multi-product Kisan SEZ at Nellore, Andhra Pradesh in which farmers' cooperatives may also participate as its shareholders. With a primary focus on food processing and agri-based industries, not only will the SEZ boost industrialization in the area and benefit the local population, but it will also provide farmers with employment and business opportunities. Today, IFCO has moved beyond the shores of the country extending its services to the global farming community. Its 19 subsidiaries and associates 
undertake varied activities across the world. It has joint venture projects in Senegal, Oman, Jordan, Australia, Peru, Argentina and Dubai. There is a new wave of enthusiasm, of hope, of dreams being fulfilled. However, the journey is far from over, with many dreams to be fulfilled and many more commanding heights to conquer. IFCO's team of talented professionals and leadership has created a blueprint for the road ahead. With new benchmarks in productivity, quality and financial performance of reaching out to every farmer in India, integrating them into the mainstream of economic activity. Every member of this dedicated team of technocrats, engineers and marketing professionals at IFCO is today the wind beneath the wings of millions of farmers in India. IFCO, empowering rural India, transforming lives.